helpful. Mm. This is my DIY project. So I got these shelves at the dollar store, which I thought were really cute and cool. And I got a bunch of them. And I decided that I would put one here because it blends in really nice and everything and it will look good there. So I went to put it together and these things here are are sunken in. I don't know if you can see. And then the little anchors, when I went to hammer them in, one of them decided to break off on the end and then the screws also were not long enough or thick enough around the head. Because when I put it in, they're so little that the shelf just hung down sad like a like a sad puppy dog it hung down like that instead of being like that it was hanging off so it wouldn't stay up on the wall so i went to the hardware store and i took all my gear with me and they sized it up and gave me some new stuff to bring home and coincidentally the guy said he had just seen a facebook video about um, how they put tape across the things like he just saw it just today so I was like how funny is that so they put tape across here and they measure they measure with that so it's marked it with the hole like that where the hole goes and then you take the tape and you put it on the wall in the same place let me see if I can get this right you take the tape off of here and then I marked the wall with chalk, but you can't really see it, but I marked where the shelf was to go, and I used a level and everything. And let's see, which way does this go? Hang on. Yeah, oh, I'm already confused. <laughs> okay, there's the mark, and there's another mark. And over a little bit, and... There we go. All right, so if I pick the level and hold it along the edge, it says that, oh, oh, it's good. Yay, okay. That was luck. <laughs> that was luck, not skill. Okay, now I have to take a drill and drill a hole in there. So, I'm gonna put my glasses on just in case stuff, you know, flies out of the wall or something. Okay. All right. I'm not skilled at this, so there we go. Okay, now I need a hammer. I want my hammer. <laughs> I thought I was ready. Okay, there we go. I got my old rusty hammer, my big one, and my little teeny hammer. So one of those will work. And then we're gonna get the anchors that the guy at the hardware store helped me with because they're bigger and better, and so they should not uh, I might not have the hole big enough well then let's see well and I dropped it okay let's see okay so this is going to be noisy so I'm going to stop the video and then I'm going to come back Okay, so I did the noisy part. I drilled the holes just a little bit bigger. I worked them around a little bit and then I hammered the anchors in. And one challenge, if anybody knows how, because um, I don't, because I'm just doing this. Uh, <laughs> so if you can tell me how to make sure that you don't get the anchors crooked, because that's challenging. I had to just keep repositioning it with the hammer. There's probably an easier way. 
but I don't know what it is. So, so now I'm going to put the screws in. And the other challenge is with these shelves is how far do I go with these screws? Okay. He said they fit. Did he lie? No. Okay, he didn't. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. Okay. There we go. Okay. So let's just put that to there and then we'll get another screw. And let's see. Okay. We can take the tape off. Now. There we go. If you just have like the holes at the edge of the tape, then the whole thing doesn't get wrapped all around it. So that's that's how I did it. Just put the hole at the edge of the tape. Okay. Okay. Why are these so hard to get started? There we go. I could use a drill to put these in, but I like an automatic car, but a manual screwdriver. I don't know. There we go. Okay. All right. So now this is what's going to tell the tale. Um, okay. So you get these little things here to, to put on and then slide the shelf over so that it locks. So is it going to work this time? I don't know. Because these things are sunk in, so I made a, maybe I put the screw in too far again. I don't know. I left it sticking out a little bit, but like, how the heck are you supposed to know what it is? I even marked, I even marked it, but look at it marked wrong. Maybe. Oh, let's see. Okay, it should be in the right place. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I did it. I did it. Oh my gosh. I think though, I might have to. No, I didn't. This one's not fast. <laughs> I was all excited. I thought I did it right the first time. Okay. <sighs> Still doing what it did before. What is going on? Okay, so how do you get it to to do what it's supposed to do. Hmm. Maybe if anybody's got any ideas, you can let me know. Because I don't know. Wait, wait. It would have to be, wait, how far? Okay. Are they out too far or are they in too far? And are they the same? Okay. Let's try this again. <sighs> no, it's not going to work. It's not going to work because now they're in too far. So now they have to come back out. Okay. Alrighty. You know what? I think I have to put the anchors flush with the wall because I didn't. I left them out a bit because I wasn't sure. So I'm going to shut this off and I'm going to hammer again and wish me luck. So I did it. It took a lot of back and forth. Um, unscrewing the screws and trying to hook it on and then, you know, pulling them out further or back in until they come to the point where it was stable and not hanging off the wall or not in so far that you couldn't hook the shelf onto it. So I finally did it. I did it. I can sit things on my little shelf. So, you know, I did have to go to the hardware store and get better uh, screws and anchors for it because the ones that came with it weren't, they were useless. But anyways, these shelves are pretty cool. So I got some more to put up. They're like 
faux marble and they were like four bucks so not bad right for shelves these days and it's on the wall yay 